And therefore, when you seek, you do not seek with the mind. The mind says, don't seek. But something else is not say seek. How do we split ourselves? That something is telling us not to do something. And something is telling us, do it. We all have this split in our mind. Now, is it the mind which is two parts? Some people think like that. They say there is a, a, a lower mind, there is a higher mind. Some people say the mind divides itself and the large part remains the mind and little part becomes conscience, which tells us this is right, this is wrong. So we all carry all this arrangement in our head that the conscience tells us wrong. The mind says, well, one, once in a while is all right. And therefore, but it is not, it will stop there. Supposing you do something which your conscience says is not right. And if you are religious minded, it will not say right, it will say it is a sin. That's what religion has introduced, worse than not right. It has made it sin. If you do this, you are committing sin. So when we commit sin, then what happens? We don't leave the sin there, we carry it in the form of guilt. And you know, we are carrying so much guilt because of certain things we did. Knowingly or unknowingly, we carry guilt. And what does the guilt do? The guilt holds you back in the past, never makes you move in the future. If you are feeling guilty about something, you will live in the past. Oh, I should not have done it. Oh, I regret it. You are constantly thinking of something that happened in the past. When we carry such huge number of items of guilt, we can't move forward at all. We are trapped in that. So there are many traps here. We are living in a world which has many traps in order to keep us here longer and longer so that the, the population should keep on growing and more and more souls should come and get trapped. 